Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Without a doubt, one of the most common comments that I see on almost all of my videos is, Zach, how do you get your recoil control like that? Zach, why do none of your guns have no recoil? Zach, are you using a Cronus? Are you hacking with your, uh, with your recoil? Are you doing some sort of mod? Short answer, no, I'm not, by the way. You're gonna see why in this video, uh, but I'm always getting asked about recoil control, how you can make it look like a weapon has no recoil, the spidey ping weapon that has decent recoil, for instance, uh, the AMAX, maybe the AK-47, the Cold War MP5, so on and so forth. So today we're going to jump into some plunder, then also into some private matches and break down how you can make almost any weapon in the game look like it doesn't have any recoil. Uh, this is something that you gotta practice a little bit, but once you get it down, you're pretty much good forever, honestly. So as we go through it all, if you enjoy the video or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. Uh, as always, would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already subscribed, I'm always covering everything going on in COD. News, intel, updates, tips, you name it, it's all right here. So feel free to subscribe, that way you can always stay up to date. All right, so initially I figured the easiest way to sort of showcase what I want to talk about here is to jump into some MW private match. That way I don't have to worry about anybody shooting me or anything like that. But uh, we are going to jump into some plunder and break the same thing down, but with Cold War weapons, just because uh, obviously you can't get Cold War weapons in Modern Warfare multiplayer. But uh, here I've got the Kilo and I've got the Scar. The Scar is a very high recoil weapon that most people don't use just because uh, the pattern is not convenient. It's not a very easy to use weapon, whereas the Kilo... Pretty easy to use in all regards. So what we're gonna do is uh, go all the way back to the wall here, that way we're the same distance every time we shoot this wall. And what I'm gonna do is just shoot the kilo outright, shoot 20, 30, 40 shots. That way we can just see the raw recoil pattern. I'm not going to adjust my thumbstick or if you're on mouse and keyboard your mouse, it works the same on both inputs, doesn't really matter there. I'm just gonna shoot the gun. We're gonna see its raw recoil pattern here, go through, go down to like 15 or so shots. As we can see, the kilos pattern, relatively simple and especially uh, easy. You know, it's not that big. It's not that drastic. It's very compact in all reality. So it starts, it goes slightly up to the left, and then it takes a hard left turn, then goes almost straight vertical again. Meaning that when you shoot this every single time, it's going to perform just like that. Let's go ahead. Let's do it again right next to it. We start shooting. We go up. It's going up to the left. Now it's back to straight vertical. As we go and look, it is relatively the same exact pattern, give or take a couple of bullets here and there. It's not one for one, but it is the same general motion every time. Up, 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 hard left, up and to the left ever so slightly. So knowing that, you can now predict how this gun is going to behave every single time you shoot it, regardless of the distance in any given gunfight. Obviously, the further you are away from somebody, the harder it's going to be to stay on target, the closer it's going to be easier uh, and vice versa. So as we know this now, we know when it starts to shoot here, in this case, when it's going slightly up and to the left, you pretty much just want to pull straight down with a slight, slight curve to the right. That way you're countering that slightly left movement. But you're going to be pulling down slightly to the left, down slightly to the left. As it moves hard to the left here, you want to be pulling to the right just a little bit. Obviously, it's not the harshest move left, but it's pretty much straight horizontal here. So you're going down into the right, down into the right, down into the right, harder right, but not super, super hard, just a little bit. And then back down into the right, down into the right, down into the right. So. This is a pattern I know. This is a weapon that I'm very comfortable with. Let's go ahead. This is going to be me actually trying to control the weapon now, knowing that recoil pattern. So you got to shoot. I'm holding down, holding down, down into the right, down into the right, holding down, holding down. And as you can see, when we go up here, not the most perfect recoil control in the world. I kind of overcompensated a bit there and went down a little too far, but that's just going to happen in certain gunfights. You're not going to be laser accurate in every single engagement. There's going to be discrepancies here and there, but Knowing that pattern, obviously, this is 60 bullets, very, very compact. That's all going to be on target. You can see it's not going very far left to right. I'm going from like there to there, whereas this starts here and ends up all the way over here. You have a lot wider spread here, obviously way more vertical too. So after you get that recoil pattern down, you're going to be able to control weapons so much easier. And this works for every single weapon in the game. Let's go ahead. Let's do the same thing with the scar, not controlling it at all. Just letting the raw recoil pattern go. We start to shoot. And as you guys can see, this one's pretty rough, especially compared to the Kilo. Kilo goes from there to there vertically, not a ton of movement. The Scar starts here and goes all the way up here. But that said, the Scar's recoil pattern is actually a lot more simple than the Kilo's. The Kilo's goes up, left, up. This just goes up, right, up, right, up, right, up, right the whole way. Meaning this is actually a relatively easy pattern to, you know, learn and to master. You just got to compensate quite a bit because it is so extreme in terms of up and down recoil. So we know it's going to go up and all the way to the right. Let's try it now when I'm trying to control that. Obviously for this, we're going straight up. So I want to pull down a little bit and then also to the left a little bit to compensate for that right movement. Uh, so 
as we start to shoot here down to the left down into the left down into the left we go through the whole mag like that and again massive difference because i know the recoil pattern up and to the right the whole time as i'm compensating for that everything is pretty much center mass here with the exception of a few bullets again you're going to overcompensate you're going to undercompensate sometimes that's just going to happen especially if you are on controller where it's a bit harder to you know compensate for big movements like this mouse and keyboard might be a bit easier there but overall learning this pattern is a night and day difference in terms of how easy a weapon is to use or not obviously you got to work a little bit more in this case uh compared to the kilo but at the end of the day both patterns are relatively center mass. The bullets are landing in the same general area. So you're going to be frying once you get that pattern down. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into some plunder and show off the same thing with some Cold War weapons as well. All right. So we're in plunder now. It's going to be the same deal as before. I'm going to stand on this wall. Look here. I feel like this is a relatively good place to see the patterns. We've got the AK-47, which at a range is especially a very rough weapon to use. The recoil is not very forgiving. I do have the Spetsnaz grip on here, I believe. So that's going to help some. And I've also got the Bullfrog with no grip on it. I think I got Bruiser, which doesn't help with recoil because the Bullfrog is uh, relatively easy to use in terms of its control. But first, we'll start with the AK-47. Not mounted or anything, just shooting it. This is the raw recoil pattern. As we look at it, it is, it is rough, to say the least. It goes all the way up and over the door, and we didn't even shoot the whole mag. As you can see, there's a lot of distance in between each shot at a range. There is a massive scale in height here. You start here, it ends up at the top of the door. Definitely a very unforgiving recoil pattern. I'm probably not going to even do it perfect this time just because this isn't a weapon that I use a ton at range. But we look at this, we can see it's relatively vertical, a slight hit to the right and then vertical again. So it's almost like reverse kilo in this sense. We're going to be holding down, holding down, holding down, down into the left, down into the left, down, down, down. So let's try that. Let's see if I can get it relatively good here. Holding down, holding down, holding down, down into the left, down into the left, and then straight down again. Not the greatest control in the world in that specific example, but good enough to show you that like, obviously... I'm trying to counteract this pattern here. I know exactly how it's going to behave. So I can change it from insane spread in between each shot and going ridiculously vertical to holding it in a much more compact area. Obviously, this isn't the smallest target area, but it is way better than it was before. And as you use a weapon more, if you're using the AK five, six, seven games a day, if you're using it consistently back to back to back day after day, you're going to get the weapon down. You're going to be very, very comfortable with it after a certain amount of time. Just sort of depends on how long it takes you to really get the feel for it. But as you use it more, obviously, very cliche and very basic, you are going to get better with it. Now, let's do the bison in the same scenario. I'm not going to be uh, controlling anything here. Raw recoil pattern coming in hot. This one, it looks pretty, uh, pretty rough in all honesty. Like obviously with no control, it's not the, it's not the most ideal. How far away are we from this wall actually? Just about 18 meters, I'd say, because I was on the uh, inside there. It's not the most ideal scenario to be using a, uh, an SMG in in the first place. That's a little bit far in most ranges. Like, you're going to have a damage drop off at the very least there, so it won't hit as hard. But if you're in an area like this, obviously, the pattern would be a bit less extreme. That goes for all weapons. The closer you are, the easier the recoil will be. But this one is almost kind of reverse of this. It's just going to be straight up left, 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 left. So we know this now pretty basic pattern it's just we obviously pretty pretty harsh in uh, the verticality we're gonna be holding down into the right down into the right down into the right a little bit more throughout the entire you know after the first 10 15 shots or so so we'll go back start looking at it yet again and i'm going to control it this time i'm holding down 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 into the right down into the right down into the right down into the right and you can see as i sort of overcompensate there I start to spin it a little bit. It gets a little bit circular in some uh, in some scenarios there. And that happens in game a lot too, especially as an enemy is moving left to right. But obviously I'm trying to control it here and the pattern is infinitely more compact than it is here. And same deal with the AK. These are almost two similar things. Uh, you know, all the way up vertical, past the top of the door here. Very compact, very compact. And that's all it takes to make a gun look like it has no recoil. Like I said, it's gonna differ when you have an enemy moving left to right. Uh, just because you're going to have to compensate for how the enemy is moving. If there's a guy running across the train tracks here, I'm holding down into the right still, but I'm going to have to compensate more to the right if he's moving to the right. Or same deal, uh, this pattern is up and to the right again. They're moving left. I got to hold almost straight down in that case, but also move left just because while they're moving, I need to be following them left, but the pattern's going to the right. So uh, that's just a different compensation there. Obviously, those are factors that come down to how that game is playing. I'll never be able to predict those things in this case. But as far as the pattern goes... That's step one. You're not going to be hitting anyone regardless of where they're moving if you can't control the weapon. So doing this just a handful of times a day with a weapon that you want to use. If you're trying on a new weapon, throw on all the attachments that you want to use. If you want to use a scope, you throw on that. Whatever under barrel, whatever barrel, muzzle, doesn't matter. Throw on your ideal setup. Jump into a uh, custom game in Modern Warfare or some plunder here depending on what weapon you're using. 
and just look at the pattern, shoot it against the wall, figure out what that pattern is going to look like, and then try your best and test yourself. Okay, can I compensate for this the first time? Uh, if you can't, you know, throw it on a munitions box and just keep doing it until you feel like, okay, I've got this pattern down. It doesn't look like there's much recoil here. I can probably beam some people. And also try it at different ranges. If you're on this wall, start here, see what you can do. Move back to this, see what you can do. Move to, you know, underneath the tree, see what you can do. Test yourself in certain ways. And over time, if you want to become a better player, this is a super, super easy way to do so. Now, there is also one other thing that can uh, that can help out here, but it is exclusive to PC. And that is going into your options, going into your field of view and turning your ADS field of view to affected. Independent, as you guys can see here when I zoom in, is going to zoom in my sights with it. As you guys can see on the far right of my screen here, I can see that tower and I can see the little post next to it when I zoom in. When I zoom out, I see all the way past the little concession stand here. Zoom in, that's entirely gone. Now, if I go ahead, go back in and uh, change this back to affected, zoom in, and I can see so much more around here. I'm not getting that zoom in when I ADS, so I'm losing some of that long range visibility, but uh, affected actually has lower visual recoil than independent. Because you're getting that zoom, the recoil looks harsher. Keep in mind, the pattern is not changing. It's going to be the same every single time, regardless of independent versus affected. But uh, when you're zoomed out like this, the recoil visually looks like it's less. So that's another thing you can do on PC, but ultimately, it really comes down to the patterns and obviously the attachment setup. You want to reduce the recoil via attachments, but more importantly, you want to learn the pattern. You want to see how the weapon is going to behave. And obviously the patterns will be slightly different compared to if you have a field agent grip on here versus no grip. No grip would probably be more left to right and higher vertical on the AK-47. So there's a couple of factors, but really the common denominator here, you could say, is that recoil pattern. Learn those and it's going to look like you don't have recoil on any gun in the game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my key to, uh, you know, making it look like my weapons don't have a ton of recoil. Put the time in, learn the weapons that you want to use, get their patterns down, and then in game, you can apply that muscle memory and you're good to go. It's going to be way easier to use weapons, way easier to stay on target. And uh, it's definitely helped me out doing these things where I start and I look at the patterns, figure that out. And from that point on, I'm good to go forever unless they go ahead and they change the recoil pattern which is pretty unlikely this is almost a surefire way to make sure you can stay on target easier and you can get better at the game and get easier kills hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did let me know by dropping a like on it and of course if you're new here is this guy gonna rub me over okay i was gonna say that'd be really rude if you guys are new here or if you're not already subscribed feel free to subscribe that way you can always stay up to date with everything going on in cod sir once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.